Friday, he just woke up. So today I'm doing the 10,000 calorie challenge. Quick physique check before all hell breaks loose. This is me, empty. Yesterday I had 500 calories. Today I'm hitting 10. Let's do it. Right, it's 8.46. First time I'm gonna eat breakfast since the 80s. First off, I got, went downstairs, went and got a full fat coffee from Starbucks. That taste is so good, no wonder people get fat. Full fat coffee, sugar. I'm gonna smash this. Cereal, my favorite in the UK is uh, Golden Grahams. I think the US version is called Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And full fat milk. Golden Grahams. I used to eat these like, not in the 90s, as my mum would get us like once a month or something. That's a special treat. This is like the best cereal ever. If I wanted to be a fat shit, I could eat this every day. Okay, go for round two. It's feeling full already. It's not even nine o'clock. This is the first time I reckon I've had breakfast since about, I don't know, 2010. No lies. No wonder people get fat. It's so easy to eat all this stuff and then just carry on into obliteration the whole day. I'm basically eating up the majority of the population today. Right, so bowl two is down and I wasn't gonna stop there, but I'm never gonna probably do a 10K challenge again. So why not go for the third, yeah? Got any, so. Three bowls of cereal in the morning. What am I thinking? What am I playing at? It's good as the first, to be honest. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Yeah, the most important meal of the day if you want to get fat. So three bowls of this now, plus the coffee, plus the milk. We're looking at 19, nearly 2,000 calories. And like in 20 minutes. So I'm gonna hit the gym in a bit and do some cardio. Uh, do some weights. I want to use up some glycogen in my muscles so I can eat more, store more carbs, but uh, yeah, chill out. I'm full, full of food for the moment. So I'm going to rest a bit, do a bit of work, and then in an hour, hit the gym. Off to the gym. Uh, Jamie's coming over in an hour. He's got some work to do, so I'm just going to walk on the treadmill and expend some calories because, yeah, I need to do that basically. From the gym, I'm gonna hit a protein cookie, which is about 400 calories. And where is it? See, it's not I knew it would burn off. I knew it. These are the best cookies, not no jokes. They're cakey, they're soft, they're vegan. Mm. So good, not low calorie though. 380 calories a pop. There's 12 grams of fat per cookie, but they're good for a day like this. So believe it or not, I'm still a little bit hungry. I'm gonna use all the energy that I just burned in that workout. Have a second cookie. This one is a peanut butter one, a little bit higher in calories. It's 400 on the button, and it'll bring me to 2,740 calories so far. Mmm. Peanut butter, my fave. These cookies are so good. The best thing about these cookies are they're like crumbly. I don't know what they do, but there's nothing worse than a dry cookie. It's just moist, it's crumbly, it's like a cake. It's like a, a mix of a scone and a cookie. So we're out the door, showered and changed after the workout to about, about 2,700 calories into this challenge. So 10,000 calories, why am I doing it? I've seen other YouTubers do it, I've seen other people do it, and I think that, I don't know, I thought it was a bit weird to be honest, I thought it was a bit much, but I don't know. While I'm here in America, it's something different, there's loads of food here, loads of food options, there's like good Mexican, good burgers and fries, loads of like protein cookies, loads of junk food. Um, and normally I consume 3,000 calories a day, right? So 10,000 calories is an obscene amount. So how I'm trying to balance out is, yesterday I fasted pretty much, I just had 500 calories and that was all protein. 
Uh, obviously today I'm hitting my 10,000 calories, we'll see if I can do that. And then tomorrow I'm gonna fast again. It'll balance out to be roughly okay because what matters at the end of the day is your net surplus or your net deficit at the end of the week. So by the end of the week, my calories should still be the same. Uh, I think it's gonna be uncomfortable. I'm a bit apprehensive, but I'm off for a challenge. It's gonna be fun. And now we're off to In-N-Out Burger. It's a California burger chain. Can't get more American than that. So we've decided to walk everywhere today. Basically want to expend as much calories as possible. Uh, yesterday I did 10,000 steps. So far I've done 10,500. Looking to hit at least 20K today. Did that workout and the workout today was just, a, just 10 times 10, kind of German volume training. And that's just great for like burning calories, burning glycogen, um, getting your muscles empty so you can refuel. So doing everything I can to offset this. Like I said, fast before, fast after and doing as much activity. So we could be Ubering about today, but zero Ubers given today. Walking everywhere, getting the steps in, burning them calories. Just check the decadence. So basically I've got two double-double meals, two regular fries, one full-fat Coke. Apparently these are about 1,370 calories a pop, so we're looking at about 2,750 calories for these alone. These look mental. They've got two patties, you've got cheese, um, tomato, lettuce, in an amazing bun. Whew, let's get stuck in. The patties are really thin. It's like the perfect burger. The bun's a bit crispy. And the cheese is melted just enough. And you have really crunchy lettuce, tomato, really finely diced onions, man. This honestly is the perfect double burger. Get some ketchup on it. That's what you need in London. We need in and out in London. We should have a petition. This is West Coast comfort food, trust me. I might move to California for the burgers. All right, so let's stuff into the fries. Mm, really good, perfect. Not too greasy, just like Kind of lightly cooked, actually. I just need the coat to wash down the fries and burgers, so I'll do the next one. The same, right, round two. Honestly, I can't tell you how good this is. Words do not do this burger justice. This is like perfect. Just the patties with the lettuce and the onion and the tomato, it's like any bigger, not good. Any smaller, not satisfying. 95, please, 95. That is done. I thought it was gonna be hard. That was fucking delicious. Been walking around for about like 20, 30 minutes trying to burn some more calories. The crazy thing is, I'm not even that full. I mean, I'm full obviously, but I could eat more. I think this is not gonna be hard. That's the scary thing about this. Uh, we're walking down this road at the moment and apparently there's an IHOP, which is like a pancake house at the bottom. I'm gonna go in there, check the menu out. I'm sure I'll find something tasty to smash.
right, we're in IHOP. It's kind of like a pancake waffle house. Uh, I just ordered some pancakes and a hash brown. It's another 1,500 calories. Look at the portion size. Fucking hell, man. We were like, how can it be 900 calories? Are you having a laugh? Okay. Mm. It's really good, it's spicy, kind of like um, kind of Mexican style, I think. So I destroyed the hash brown. I literally had no idea they were going to be this size. <laughs> mm. They've got like nuts in them. And oats, they're really filling. Which, to be honest, probably wasn't a good idea because that like, whole wheat fills you up really quickly. This is pancake carnage. And maple syrup. I'm starting to feel it now. I'm starting to feel really full. I'm really halfway through these pancakes. Fucking mountains like Everest. Every time I take a bite, it doesn't get any smaller. Oh, fucking hell. That's enough, I need a break for a bit. I hit a wall, man. I'm not sure I can finish that. I'm not joking. Okay, let's try it. Let's try one. Just one small bite. Just a little bite, bruv. Just finish it, man. Fuck off, man. That's... Come on, it's one more bite. Oh, it's just crumbs. It's just crumbs. You can do it. Come on. Okay, I'm not, I'm not joking. Don't tell me I'm eating more, man. I'm done. I'm not eating for three hours. Anyone shows me food, they're getting punched in the face. Right, just finished at IHOP. Um, fuck those pancakes. That portion was too big. I literally had to force feed myself like the last half of it. Um, it took me, I don't know, even like 45 minutes to do the whole thing. It was just kind of disgusted, yeah, with myself. That was just insane. Anyway, we're going to walk home now. It's going to take us about an hour, which is kind of good. I need to digest that food. Just not think about food, not see food for like three, four hours. And then, yeah, let's see if we can eat something later tonight. Like, at the moment, six and a half thousand calories feels like hell. So, that's where we're at at the moment. Okay, 8.50, believe it or not, we're going for dinner. Um, I'm gonna try and hit a pepperoni pizza. We'll see how that goes. And then maybe some dessert. Still got three and a half thousand calories to go. Uh, let's see, let's see. I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna do it. Had second wind. I've got second wind now. Feeling all right. I was feeling a bit lagging at about six, seven, but I've got second wind. Pizza, tub of ice cream. Maybe finish off some more cereal. Double doubles and I ate two of them. And the fries. I mean, you saw, it was, it was a shit show. Okay, we're at 800 degrees. Pizza place noise is pretty bad, as you can hear. I've ordered a large margarita, but I added pepperoni and salami. Uh, it's around, it says 800 calories for the margarita, but I reckon with a salami pepperoni it's about 1,000, maybe 1,100. So I've got that, one large Sprite, gonna have two of these. The meats are really sucking them. It's like really authentic Italian. The base is so thin and crispy. I like to fold it and make like a pizza sandwich. I can't believe I'm eating again. Last slice going down, baby. 
That thousand calories was amazing. Maybe the best thousand calories of the day. Right, it's 9.37, I'm at 8,000 calories. We're heading to Whole Foods, it shuts at 10. So I wanna get there, grab some ice cream. Cookie, pint of salted caramel Ben and Jerry's. This has over 800 calories in a pint, so we got this. It's a done deal, it's a wrap. Let's go finish it off. Right, we're back in the gaff. Time to finish off this slag off in style. Pint of Ben and Jerry's, salted caramel. I'm gonna do the whole thing and I'm gonna finish this off. Because why not? Oh my god. To the top of this protein cookie. God, that chocolate vegan cookie. Mm. <laughs> okay, 10.30, I'm done eating. Uh, I ended the day at 9,455 calories, about 500 calories short of my goal of 10,000, but enough's enough, I'm absolutely stuffed. Maybe I could force feed myself another 500 calories, but I'm not gonna do it. I feel sick <laughs> um, and obviously I'm not advocating this this isn't healthy eating it was a challenge and I just wanted to see what it was like and yeah it's too much to be honest it's not healthy but because I fasted yesterday I'm gonna fast tomorrow I've done loads of exercise I walked 30,000 steps today it's gonna balance out it's fine I'm not gonna put on any fat or any weight I'm calling it a day I hope you enjoyed the vlog I hope you enjoyed seeing all that cool food and I'll see you tomorrow